Hey makers, welcome to part three of building the XL frame. For this step, we're gonna need the boards from part two, as well as the other parts that we used, and the stud mounts. The first thing that we're gonna do is draw the four lines for our stud mounts, and those are at 51.5 inches out from center on both the top and the bottom beam. So on the front face of the top beam, which is the one that has the little tongue of the motor mount, we're gonna mark out 51.5 inches on each side and then draw a straight line with our speed square. Repeat that on the bottom beam. On the outside of each one of those lines, we're gonna place a stud mount. And the stud mounts are gonna be oriented with the smaller angle on top and the base, the larger angle, pressed all the way against our beam. This might look a little bit different on your frame because we're actually showing a 10 foot top beam right here and you will have a 12 foot top beam with the XL frame. Now when you're attaching your stud mounts, you wanna make sure that they stay exactly on that line and also are perpendicular with the beam. It's very important that each one of the mounts is perpendicular with the beam because if it's not, then your M2 will not cut properly. So we recommend using a speed square to ensure that each one of them are straight and you can put the screws in in diagonal holes little by little, kind of like changing a tire or a drum head to make sure that that angle doesn't move or, and skew side to side. It's super important and vital that it stays perpendicular with the top beam. If there's a little bit of a gap on the top or the bottom, that's fine, but you wanna make sure that the larger gap is always on the top. So that's why it's also nice to kind of push the base of the stud mount into the beam while you're screwing it in and then check your work. If you have to back some of the screws out and put them back in, that's completely fine. This is one of the most important parts of building our frame. Once you've got all four of those stud mounts attached to the outside of those 51.5 inch lines, then we're ready for the next step.